Okay, so this is just a quick update. I'm going to add it to the video of me starting my starts. And by the time I probably get this video up, you'll see it already planted and out. I don't know how far I'm going to get with this video before I actually upload it. But just want to show you what came up. Now, some of these things didn't come up. Uh, looks like the iceberg lettuce seeds are shot. Those are garbage. Bergen, Bo uh, Bergen Boston, what do I got? Burgundy Boston, something, the lettuce, the Burgundy, that one didn't come up. Only one, it looks like, maybe, you know, right there, may have came up. Uh, winter density, doesn't look like that came up. So that's telling me that lettuce seeds don't last very long. So buy your lettuce, grow them out. There's no point in keeping those seeds because these seeds aren't that old. They might be two or three years old at best, but unless I received old seed, I don't know what else to say, but didn't last very long. So... Uh, if you get your lettuce seeds, don't store them. Grow them out and do what you got to do. All right, so here's our uh, Castel Franco uh, chicory right there. That one's a bunch of them came up. And here's our Rodicchio over there. And all our brassicas came up except for, uh, I think, the purple of Sicily did not sprout. Now, it might be a late sprouter, and I don't see any of the surface seeds sprouting on that one so that's one of the only brassicas that it didn't do good my long island brussels sprouts didn't do that good but i do got one plant in there now the problem with long the problem with growing brussels sprouts is you really need a long warm season i may have started this too late for brussels sprouts so if i could at least get it to seed that's all i care about i don't even care about the brussels sprouts but they take a little bit of work in doing to get brussels sprouts to give you a good amount of little brussels sprouts on there Plus, um, they need that long season for them to develop. I've grown Brussels sprouts in this past and haven't did that good. Not good enough for me to want to show and tell it. But I will do a future video on growing Brussels sprouts and trying to get get them to around four feet in height with a good, a good amount of little sprouts coming off of it. So if I get something like that, we'll definitely do a full review on that. But I personally, I only get a few little sprouts off them and I eat those as I go. And the main reason for that is because of the insects. The insects out here are so bad that if you don't get to them, the slugs will and all the other insects, especially like uh, earwigs, they love to bur burrow themselves inside the Brussels sprouts. So that's another reason why I don't grow those things. They're, the earwigs out here are really bad. But as you can see, most of the other stuff is grown, including the extra dwarf pak choy. Now, they're getting kind of leggy. I don't know why they're getting leggy, but they are starting to get leggy. So... I'm going to want to soon get these into pots and start separating them and start growing them in as much full sunlight as possible to keep them nice, short, and stocky with these anyway, and so they form a nice bulb on the bottom. If not, they get really long and luggy, and then they bolt, and then that's it. You, these got to be in the sun constantly, so once, once these are a little bit better acclimated and the stem gets a little bit harder... We're going we're gonna to transport them and we're going to bury these stems down to the point where the leaf starts to separate. I need these stems to get a little stronger before I can actually do anything with them. So they need to get past this stage. All of these really. I don't like transplanting anything, you know, like this while they're still in that first stage. All right, so that's uh, everything we got going on that. And I'll just show you quickly my uh, sprouts from... That I broadcasted my my broccoli from the uh, sprout house seeds that I showed you. Let me just show you quickly. And we got a lot of rain that came in through here, so these definitely got well watered, and a good amount of them came up. You can see those are a lot of broccoli's coming up. So hopefully some of these will survive. I know I just they're not planted in order, and I just kind of threw the seeds all over the place. Most of this is probably going to end up dying. You know, a lot of them will get chewed up by the insects and die. But some of them are going to make it, and those are the ones that we're going to eat. All right? And that's, broccoli is like my staple in my diet. That's primarily what I eat is broccoli. Broccoli, cauliflower, and a kale, you know, I eat that too. But kale is something I, I don't like to buy because... Kale is just so easy to grow. Kale and collards are just so easy to grow. I just don't grow them because uh, this year I'm not growing them anyways because 
it's just you could see what my garden looks like you know it's just a it's a, it's an it's a wild garden this year so we're not doing much with it but anyways i just wanted to show you you know what's going on with the um you know the sprouts i got and i'll update you again once we get a little further all right so here we are we are up to having separated the plants it's about the third week in august so we're getting starting to get late but the plants are starting to go pretty good i'm going to leave them in the pot for a little while longer until i get a little bit of girth on them and i can see you know a little bit of stability because once i plant them out in the, in the uh, garden and outside they're going to get destroyed by the insects so I want these to get a little bit of grow to them, and then we'll transplant them. I might bring a couple of these in for the winter, like maybe some of the baby bok choys. I'll bring if they don't bloom or bolt, I'll bring those in, one or two of them. Most of these are going to get planted outside though. And over here we got the uh, the kale. I'll, I'll, I'm going to plant all of these outside because they'll do better in the winter outdoors. So yeah, we got all of that. We got everything planted there. There's the Long Island Brussels sprouts over there. And we got all of those right there. The mustards are all growing. And we got the um, chicories growing. These are all chicories. I might bring one of those in just to see how it does over winter. Uh, it's a good alternative to lettuce chicory. It's just very bitter. It's like a, it's like an escarole. It's kind of a bitter version of of, uh, of a lettuce. The reason why I like to grow that, I'm not, I'm not particularly fond of the bitterness, but the reason why I like to grow it in contrast to lettuce is because lettuce constantly bolts on me. I can almost never grow lettuce here. And you have to grow it at the right time and the right type of light and shade and water, and, and you'll get great, fantastic lettuce heads. But without doing that just the right way, they almost bolt every single time. It's very hard to get it right up here. It's... It's just as easy for me to go to the store and spend an 89 cents on a head of lettuce and I got all the lettuce I want. And I don't eat too much lettuce because lettuce, even though I like lettuce a lot, the lettuce does cause a lot of flatulence. So I'm not big on lettuces too much anymore because of that reason. And so I don't eat as much lettuce. And if I do eat lettuce, I'll just buy a head of iceberg lettuce. But I grow it anyway. I still get the seed from it and save it every year. Why? I don't know. I guess offer it on my website, but... But it bolts here every year, and it's really a pain in the neck for me to grow. So, But I, I got one growing right there. It is one of the lettuces actually survived. Yeah, none of the icebergs sprouted. And so, I'm again, I'm not worried about it. It's too late in the year for me to really go into a big lettuce thing. I'd have to clear out the garden, and I'm not doing that. So, and yeah, and, and all the other stuff is doing. All the brassicas are doing good. I'm hoping that they'll grow really nice. And they survive through the winter outdoors, and hopefully it's not an issue. I'll try to grow them in different areas so I know uh, what area is best for them so they winter over and they stay alive till next year and I can get a second crop out of them. I do like to do that with brassicas. In fact, I've had, I've had kales, collards, and um, I believe I had broccolis live three two three to four years actually collards mainly they've i've had collards live as long as four years so they can live quite long collards are almost a perennial in the right conditions up up this far north with the intense amount of freezing cold that we get they're generally they if you're lucky they'll survive it and they'll go they'll get stronger and stronger through the years but eventually one of the deep freeze colds that we get it will just kill it eventually and insects get into the center of the stalk and then they hollow it out and but um yeah you can get a few years out of them and i do like to do that for a few years even if i'm not getting flour or head from it i i do like to eat the leaves because it's just as good as eating collard leaves or anything else and that's collard that goes for collards broccolis cabbages are good cabbages have a little bit different of a flavor you could eat those leaves too so you can grow those for a couple of years and just eat the leaves on them before the insects get them. And, uh, you know, that, that's what I like to do. So over here is some more of the, um, these are the, I believe these are, these are, these are cabbages. But this is a non-heading cabbage. This is a leaf cabbage, which grows similar to like a collard. So this is a leaf type cabbage. Should be pretty easy. I should get plenty of leaves to cook throughout the fall going into the winter so I'll, I'll get my greens from that there's another mustard over there and so we're going to let these get a little bigger and then we're going to go plant them and i'll do an update on that uh once i get there so you're not going to see this video until a little later in the year 
but unfortunately, I'm just uploading videos is becoming difficult for me because of the time and everything like that. So I'll be uploading, concentrating, making the videos longer and concentrating them more into one video and just give you uh, longer videos, but not as many uploads. I, I'm assuming that's what everybody would prefer because the longer videos seem to do better. So anyway, uh, that's it. I'll see you once these get a little bigger and we can do the transplanting.